this team that we have assembled is unbeatable. We believe in the value of Fort Polk. We believe in keeping the relationship between this community and Fort Polk strong. We have what I consider to be the greatest team in the world. Teamwork is what it takes to be a success. But most important it is the great support and patriotism in this area. I have yet to meet a local leader that has ever complained to me about the sound of artillery firing up the peace arm, about the noise of a helicopter coming through. I come back to the folks in central Louisiana, actually the entire state, understand the importance of forging a warrior spirit, of building combat readiness, and ensuring that as a nation, when we don't deploy young Americans in the harm's way, we will fight and win, and we will bring them back. And that is what your support of the Joint Readiness Training Center in Fort Polk does for this area and for the community. There is no community more sophisticated than you in understanding that interplay of local, state, federal, and international events. You know the importance of local education to our nation's preparedness. You make that connection. You understand the importance of federal budget issues to sequestration to our country's defense to a local economy. You understand the importance of infrastructure for the ability of a unit to quickly mobilize. You understand the connection between a national investment and a state investment in infrastructure and the ability of our country to avoid another Benghazi-like incident. There is no community more sophisticated at knowing the connection between international, national, state, and local affairs than this community right here. When I think about the future of this whole region and the future of our state, one of the things that keeps me most enthusiastic is the teamwork and the amount of people that are willing to join forces together. But what we're up against now is, is, the, is the need to not only be fighting for the protection of our own installation, which is what we've been fast to work at for the last four or five years, but what we've got to do now is team up with other defense communities across, the, across our country because now we've got to fight for the Army itself. What is our defense strategy? What is the Army's mission? And we've got to fund our Department of Defense, in particular our Army, to meet that strategy and to meet that mission. We cannot do that if we continue to downsize our Army below 450,000. All the other Army installations in the country that were affected during the last round of force cuts, and we're reaching out to them now to build a national coalition that can bring together delegations from other states uh, to really help with this budget-driven process and hold the Army at 450,000, make sure that we're properly resourcing our U.S. Army and soldiers from training to equipment to manpower uh, to reflect the mission that they have on them all over the world. The Louisiana delegation has really led the way nationally in this whole conversation, this whole fight to stop the slide in the Army. We've been the only delegation, the only state that's had legislation that would have prevented the last round of cuts and would prevent any subsequent rounds of cuts. And I think as we go forward, we'll help you build that team with other senators and other representatives around the country.